Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to get the indicator ID of a script and how to use it. I'm nice guy and I give you all of the indicator IDs directly in the description. However, if you no, do not have this option, you have many other options to find the indicator ID. First option is to open a this link that we have here in the top section. Okay, I don't I don't see this link, sorry me. Let's go to the top. We will open this link that you will find in every code that I have put out. We will open it up and here you have all of your private indicators. For example, I have magic F is a one pool. Um, what else? There is normalized variety fast Fourier transformation, explorer locks, and many other scripts. Z score of something else. The second option it is to use the script that Ma Matthew put out. If we go to the examples, you can run all private indicators like this, and you will get the same what you have here and the third option it is we will use the web free quant we which i i want to get the indicator id of a private script or invite only script we will open a new tab which i'm not logged in and after that we will open the page source here i have an option uh, control F to Google for user user nothing or pop not op but pop P U B here we have the pub uh, private indicator of a script now how to use it first option how I use I add all of the backtest information from indicator directly to the sheets for more than one time frame. Let's check the um, my script. Okay, here is one indicator ID that I've used. Here I have time frames. You can use as well uh, five minutes if you want like this and you will get um, indicators um, and data for each of those time frames. You also have 15 minutes, thir uh, 30 minutes, uh, one hour and many more um, or yeah, a lot of them. And here I have all of the market that I want to, we don't have Luna doesn't exist as far as I know. Um, and then I have the spreadsheet ID. The spreadsheet ID is here in the top. Um, how to set up this, I will tell you in the later videos. However, right now let's run it, run it. And if you wait a few seconds for this to resolve, it goes to the uh, trading view and it calculates, it plots the trading view indicator in the chart and it exports all of the data here in the end. We can see it already set up the BTC and now we get BTC reverse. If we click on it, we have the indicators for uh, probably FVZO for 12 hours, 30 days, 4 hours, 6 hours and 1 month. And also we are now getting for the Ethereum as well and it will go and it will make every single indicator let's check back it, it it goes on ADA you can see one by one by one by one and here we have ADA reverse for each of the time frames um, how to set up this um, in the later videos however this is what you can do with indicator IDs and with a little bit of coding skills